to, for people to get in contact with you, uh, we have some graphics here. If you could help us, is there a website we can visit and telephone numbers, please? There is. Uh, my practice is in Newport Beach, yes. California, and I see from pediatrics to geriatrics and sports. I'm an athletic trainer as well mm -hmm. as a physical therapist, so um, see quite a few people in helping them with all walks of life. Okay, so and then we have your number on the screen there. Uh, yes, and my number is 949-851-8228, and the website is listed there right. uh, to do. And and See? Bruce, uh, did, for people to contact you in Santa Monica, well, let's um, hit these graphics up. If you give us the phone number. Yeah, 310-395-3555. Mm -hmm. Good number. <laughs> it's a great number. <laughs> and my website is advancedrolfing.com. Mm -hmm. And I also do a lot of work with people who have unresolved scar tissues. So whether it's post-C-section or hysterectomy, sometimes the layers just become um, restricted and I help uh, redifferentiate them and mm -hmm. it's a very helpful thing. Well, uh, Bruce, let me focus on that for a second because so many of our, in our audience are actually caregivers and they may have noticed something in the person they're caring for uh, that's not right. You know, their instincts are, are troubling them. Uh, do you actually see caregivers as well so you can help in case there's a, t a team effort going on to help a, a senior? Yeah, people will come in with their significant other or their caretaker and as much as I can, I'm sure Gail does the same thing, we try mm -hmm. to empower people to take care of themselves, improve the ergonomics and leverage in their activities of daily life mm -hmm. and just pass the information on versus just hanging on to it ourselves. Right. Gail, let's talk about balance issues because so many elderly people, that's when the crisis comes. Right. They've fallen. What are some of the steps people can do to sort of keep that uh, away from them, um, to, to help them navigate life, if you will? Well, one of the key things is keeping their flexibility. Mm -hmm. Keeping their flexibility, uh, the hydration that it comes from hands-on therapy, but also exercise and strength and lengthening. Uh, keeping their strength, keeping their coordination through, through means that are exercise related. Also teaming up, working like you said with the caretaker. Mm -hmm. We get the caretaker involved with their therapy. And um, what is it that they can do to help with hands-on work, right. keeping the range of motion going. Um, and working with uh, stabilizing their balance through those means. You know, you were, you guys were gracious enough to give us a list of like the top 10, yes. 11, 12. And, and let's go through some of these things so people can figure it out. And of course, the first one got me right away. Uh -huh. uh, clothing, wallet in the back pocket. Now people really do throw themselves out of alignment sitting on their wallet, don't they? Yeah. They really do. It, um, especially if you have a big wallet, it just puts an asymmetrical twist through your pelvis mm -hmm. and your sacrum, and it's it's not part of the solution. Okay, number two, tight underwire bras. Yes. What they're so constrictive? So constrictive, um, and it affects their breathing pattern. Affects their breathing pattern mm -hmm. in such a way. You but notice, it, Bruce, I didn't ask yes. you this question. <laughs> Go ahead. I'm pattern, sorry. But it, you, your body, when you feel that and you don't breathe as well, you you actually form around it. You go into the formation of what that tightness is. Mm -hmm. You don't want to stretch from it, so that's there, and it's okay. a very high high point. I've watched this in airports all the time. People are loading themselves up with fanny packs and they pile junk in them and you just know they're carrying an extra five pounds on one hip. Mm -hmm. That's the trouble there. And these backpacks for children. For children. Children yeah. hurting themselves. Yeah, We've even gone as far as physical therapy to, uh, which later you'll see in re regard to pushing carts, but even with kids, mm -hmm. we recommend that they start loading up those small pieces of luggage if they have so many books, starting with junior high and high school. Oh, do they ever. So we get those involved. Uh, basic stuff, shoes and socks. People often don't buy the correct kind of shoes, either for their activities or for their condition in life. They really are you know, wearing $2, uh, you know, dime store tennis shoes when they need support. They need yeah. support. If you want to go out and wear shoes that look nice and aren't as comfortable, do that. But mm -hmm. there's also a lot to be said for being in a shoe that has a really supportive, neutral sole that is flexible and absorbs impact mm -hmm. and is just part of decompressing your body. 
Well, that leads us to something around the households. People are forever just putting on socks and walking on bare floors, mm -hmm. guaranteed to slip. Uh, floors, showers, rugs, and floor mats, these are things where people can get those, at the top of the show I called it a sprain, you've sprained your ankle. Those are some of the things that actually happen to people. Yeah, and it's just, like we say, trying to look for that ahead of time mm -hmm. and keeping, creating ease in the environment and create the environment. Do the rugs need to be taped down? Do they right. need to be taken away? Or taken away, taken yes. Taken away. Right. Like that. And then, of course, those assistive devices, a handrail by the toilet. Probably a good idea as you are advanced in age. Yeah, just like good sitting applies to your desk, mm -hmm. if you're sitting in a uh, toilet that is really very low mm -hmm. and you have a low back problem, you may want to put some elevation on the seat just to increase leverage in a way that's good for you. You know, in the course of doing this show, we have had conversations about how difficult it is for older people to get socks on, for goodness sake, and they sometimes have to be taught how to, how to do that. So now some things for general well-being. Use push carts, not hand carts. That speaks for itself. Now what do you mean by cross-training, stairs and sitting? Do you mean to stay active even as you're doing those things? Yeah. Uh, you want to basically give your body variation mm -hmm. in terms of how you use it. And that increases the hydration and mobility. So whatever your workout is, try to do something else which is going to move different tissues and work your body in a different way. Right, I see. So it's not just, don't confine yourself to just one thing. Now, unfortunately, it looks like our time is up for today's edition of Aging in L.A. Thanks so much to our guests, Bruce Schoenfeld and Gail Wetzler. And now, it's time for our feature on Aging in L.A., Senior Stat Shots where we look at statistics that pertain to senior citizens. Today's senior stat shots relate to the issues that we have discussed on today's program. What are the benefits of integrative manual therapy? Well, first, often people feel lighter and more energetic. Some people will actually grow taller as rotations in the body begin to unwind. People often appear slimmer and feel more balanced. Chronic aches and pains are reduced and often alleviated, and movement feels more fluid and flexible. As we begin to view the world from a more stable and balanced structure, we gain self-confidence, and the environment around us appears less threatening. As our body becomes more flexible and open, so does our mind, and we approach life from a less rigid standpoint. And that's today's Senior Stat Shot. The Los Angeles Department of Aging produces this program with City View, Channel 35, so that seniors living in Los Angeles and surrounding communities are well informed on the many issues that face them in everyday life. And also to let you know of the many services that the Department of Aging offers our senior citizens. Now, we'd like to hear from you with comments on the program, what you like, what you think can be improved, and your ideas for future programs. So please give us a call. The number's there on your screen, area code 213-252-4088. That's 213-252-4088. Call us with your comments and ideas, and we look forward to hearing from you. I'm Paul Peterson for the Los Angeles Department of Aging, the people here at City View Channel 35, and all of our guests on Aging in LA. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. <laughs>